All right, welcome to another MAGA YMCA quarantine video. Today we're gonna do about 30 minutes and we're gonna do 10 minutes of cardio, 10 minutes of strength, and then 10 minutes of stretching. Uh, you don't really need any equipment, but if you do have a jump rope, you can use a jump rope. I'm going to be attempting that for part of it. Um, and then of course, if you wanna make anything more challenging, you can always add any weights you have lying around to the squats and lunges. So first we're gonna start with a little warm up. I'm using a chair um, to make it a little easier, but you can also do it on the floor. We're gonna start with a little modified down dog, up dog. So we're gonna put our hands on the chair. We're gonna take a breath in and we're gonna lift up, gentle arching up, belly button up, only as far as you feel comfortable. And then we're gonna press back and exhale. Good. Stretching out your back, making sure you get enough distance, lifting up your tailbones, feet firm in the floor, and then we're gonna go up back up again. Breathing in as we go. Again, they're only doing this each direction as far as it feels comfortable. Pull your belly button back and up as you lift your sit bones up. Good, we'll do that a couple more times. Good. Back, up, and back one more time. All right, then we're gonna move into some side bends. I'm gonna set my watch because I did not do that to start just now, but I told you that this was time, so we're gonna do that. All right, ready? So we're gonna have our feet a little wider than hip width apart, and then we're gonna gently bend to one side and reach we're gonna keep this moving, doing a little dyna dynamic stretching as we start, because we're gonna start moving our bodies. All right. Good, side to side. You're trying to lengthen and lean over. You only wanna go a little bit. You can make it smaller range of motion. If it feels good, just stretch and slide that hand further down your leg, go ahead and do that. All right, now we're gonna move into some straight leg kicks. So you can hold on, if you have a chair next to you, you can hold on to the chair. You can also do it just standing here. All right, so you can also keep it low. You don't have to go too high. All right, but the idea is that we're stretching the back of that leg. We're moving, we're just getting our body moving here. We're gonna do a few more seconds here. Just moving. Feels good to stretch those legs out. All right, then we're gonna switch sides. So again, you're either gonna just start with a nice swing here on the chair, using the chair. If you don't have a chair and you wanna just do a nice swing kick like that, or down here, either one is fine. Whatever you wanna do, we got about five more seconds. Up, again, we're doing one of those. All right. Good, then we're gonna do something called a waterfall, where you're gonna have one leg planted on the ground, one leg heel forward, toe up. This leg stays as straight as it can. You lift your hips up and back. You sweep down and then you rise up. You sweep down, rise up. Again, if you have a chair next to you, you wanna do a modified version. Keep your balance as steady as you might like, that's all right. You just use a chair. All right, a few more seconds. Good, then we're gonna switch legs. Other foot stable, other foot toe lifted, heel down, sweep down. Good, so we're bending from our hip joint here. We're lifting our sit bones, our tailbone up. We're sweeping, we're not trying to curl in the back here, we're trying to lift the hips. Okay, let's do a few more of those. Good. All right, then we're gonna try a little lunge with rotation, all right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna step forward and I'm gonna rotate. Now, you can step a little farther forward and rotate, or you can stay here. All right, do either one. We're just trying to get a little rotation, but my knees and hips 
are staying forward. All right, just like that. Good, I'm gonna switch sides. Rotate, come back up. You can have your arms like that. All right. You're gonna keep your center nice and tight as you rotate, planting that front foot. Stretch. Keep that ankle over. Actually, not your ankle, keep your knee over your ankle. All right, one more. Good. All right, then we're gonna do a little bit of our shoulder circle. So we're just gonna put our hands out to the sides and we're just gonna move them in small circles, just like this. We're gonna get a little bit of a buzz going in those shoulders, okay? Move them around, try to keep them level with your arms, arms. Keep your arms level with your arms. Keep your hands level with your shoulders, parallel to the floor. Then we go the other direction. So whatever direction you were going before, kind of think about opening up the chest. Keep nice and tall with the crown of your head. Keep your core engaged. You're rooted through the floor all the way down through your legs. We've got a few more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one, and then we're just gonna do a little gentle rotation here, keeping my hips forward, rotating, a little tension in my center. Rotate, good, there you go. Good, all right, so now, if you wanna grab a sip of water, coffee, um, I'm gonna move my chair that here. I'm going to move my chair back here and we're going to do our cardio portion. So we're going to do about 10 minutes of cardio. All right, we're going to start with either jump rope or fake jump rope. So fake jump rope just means you're going to be right here like this. Little bounce. You're going to tighten, pull your belly button up and in, all right, engaging that pelvic floor. You're gonna bounce from your hips, soft landing, you're not gonna stick it like this, all right? We're gonna do this for one minute. You can stop and start during this uh, as much as you want to, but you're just gonna try to keep going, all right, when you can. I'm gonna get out of breath. If you saw me in the other video with the burpees, you know that's gonna happen. I'm gonna turn bright red as well. And I'm probably gonna not jump rope great, but I have this jump rope, so I thought, hey, let's do it. Um, all right, so let's, so we're gonna do a uh, one minute jump rope first. Just gonna this away from the next one. We're just gonna keep going. All right, ready, go. I didn't start yet, did I? Come on, there you go. Uh -huh. All right, ready? So we're just jumping with or without the rope. One minute. Maybe I should have done this facing a clock instead of just using my watch, but hey. <laughs> What's happening? 20 seconds. Good. And just do what you can at your pace. This is our first round, so we can go a little slower. Just get yourself moving and warmed up. The idea is that this is cardio. Get your heart rate up. Do it without even leaving your house. Good. We just gotta try to keep going and not hit the chair. All right, very good. Next, we're gonna do side to side steps. All right, so we're gonna do, so we're gonna go back and over. So we're moving like this for one minute. You can do it slower. Again, this is our first round. We're gonna do five exercises. And then repeat. And I'm not taking a rest in between these because the idea is to get your heart rate up. So if you're beginning workouts or you haven't done too much lately for that heart, then you can just take everything a little slower. All right? I'm not singing to you and I don't have music, so put on some music behind you that you like. Let's just keep moving as best we can. Just sidestep and sidestep. We got about 10 more seconds of this. All right. And 
then I'm gonna get as aerobic uh, step class as I can get without a step or being a step instructor. I'm gonna go crosses, cross. You're gonna either just go here, here, like that, or you can bring it faster, okay? I'm gonna keep it like a medium pace here, but the idea is that you're bringing your knee over towards your elbow without really crunching. You're not crunching in like this. You still wanna stay nice and tall. All right, good. Over, over, over. Just keep moving. You need to stop and take a breath or slow down your pace. You can do that. You can shorten your range of motion into more of a march. Whatever you need to do to try to just get on through. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna be a poet. All right, we're gonna do 10 more seconds of this and then we're gonna move into our next which is gonna be jumping jacks or low jacks. All right, good old in place. So a low jack, we're already starting. We're going, keep going, don't stop moving, okay? You can go slow, reach your arms up, feet out, good. There you go. Or you can do your jumping jacks. Either way, just keep moving. Fast or slow, you gotta keep going. We're only doing 10 minutes of cardio. We're gonna get up a little sweat. We wanna get your heart rate up, all right? You can make it as intense as you want or as subtle, a little easier. Whatever you need to do. We're gonna get a workout in here. Even if we're stuck in the house, we can still do something good for our bodies. All right, keep going, almost there. Next, we're gonna get into a uh, jog in place. All right, so soft feet, you can bring it down and just do a march in place. All right, knees and hips forward, or you can bring it into a jog. All right, you can run fast in place. You can do whatever you need to do, but you're pumping your arms a little bit, all right? Pumping your arms. Down. I'm gonna take it down. We've got about 30 seconds. All right, and then we're gonna take a sip of water, and then we're gonna do it all again. It's gonna be super fun because you're moving, and moving feels good. All right, so I'm gonna jog again, but you can do whatever you want to do. So I'm running in place, running in place, picking up my feet, trying to land on the balls of my feet, keep my feet directly under my hips, because I'm not moving forward to go anywhere. We're almost there, and good, all right. Very good, you made it through the first part of that. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Today I brought my water. Mm. Then I'm gonna pick up my jump rope, and we're gonna start with the jump rope again. So you made it through one round, five minutes. We got five more minutes, all right. Reset that baby. Ready, let's go. This time I'm ready, my rope. So now you can take it a little faster. You wanna take it a little faster? Or you can just keep whatever pace you had. You don't need to speed up if you're still feeling like you. Get warmed up. Just do whatever you can do. Let's do this. Whatever you're doing, if you're jumping, make sure you're tightening your pelvic core. You're landing on the balls of your feet. You're sinking in your hips a little bit. But you're keeping your posture nice and upright. Your rib cage, sorry, I had to look at my watch, 20 more seconds. Rib cage is over your hips. Your hips are over your feet. Okay, we're not bending down. Can't jump up that way. Stay nice and upright. Arms into your sides. Rotate. Good, 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. It's hard to jump rope. Look at your watch. Timing for you. So you're all right. And let's go fast. Very good. All right, then we're going to go right into our side step. So again, we're either stepping to the side, side tapping. We're going to go a little faster with a hop. Okay, either way. If you want to get really fancy, you could do two, two feet. I'm not feeling that fancy today. So I'm going to stay with one foot. Just move it over. Use your center. Keep it over. 
your feet don't let your hip go outside your foot keep yourself in the middle all right going again you want to pick it up a little it's almost like we're moving through you know like you can pick it up even here like tires you can just side tap 15 more seconds 15 more seconds let's keep going come on keep moving make it farther leap if you want to make a farther leap Whatever you can do, then we're gonna go into our crossover. All right, so now we're gonna bring, bring it across, cross, cross. Good, so we're trying to move in here, but we're staying upright. All right, we're staying tall. Bring that knee up, whatever the comfortable range of motion is. Good, you can go slower. You can vary your speed. I don't care. Just gonna move. All right. Good. What other things are you doing to keep yourself sane during this time? Uh -uh. You gotta eat right. I try to resist all the. That's the problem. Is I buy a bunch of healthy food and then I want to eat all the anything junky I have first. I try not to do that. Almost there. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Very good. All right, then we go into our jumping jack or low jack. Low jack, good. Or jumping jack, whatever you can do. In order to tighten that pelvic floor, pull up the belly button. Keep your arms nice and tall. Let's do my jumping jack here. <laughs> Doesn't matter what they look like. As long as you do them. It's always my motto. Well, I guess that's not always my motto. I do want you to focus on form. But I'm not afraid of looking goofy. All right. Almost there. 20 more seconds. 20 more seconds. Stay with me. All right. Come on. So we only have one more to do, which is our jog in place. All right. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, all right, ready? Go right into our either march, march it up, or we'll jog, 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 jog. All right, so we're just running in place, all right? Moving the arms, keep your arms, come on. You can do it even faster if you wanna do a little flash dance. People will get that reference. <laughs> All right, or you can take it slow, slow, slow. You can just march, you don't even have to jump. Whatever you want to do. All right, we have 20 seconds. I'm gonna keep jogging. We can pat right up. This is the last one of our cardio before we start our strength phase. All right, almost there. Come on. Five more seconds, five, four, three, two, sprint towards the finish, and done. Very good, all right. Take a drink of water, I'm gonna get my mat. You have paws, but you gotta watch me drink the water. All right, a little sheet blew away. So what we're gonna do now is a series of exercises, all right? Do the same thing, we're gonna do a series of exercises and then repeat, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna be a push-up. All right, get my sip of water. It's low tech, we don't edit that out. All right, so we're gonna do push-ups. So you and I are gonna do 30 seconds of push-ups, okay? You are gonna do whatever you can do. You can either keep doing it the whole time, or you are going to rest when you need to and start up again, and I will call time. So you're either gonna do your push-ups, you're gonna have your hands a little wider than shoulder width apart, all right? You're gonna keep your core tight. You wanna be in a plank position. You're not doing a push-up like this. That's not a push-up. You can't go all the way down to the floor. Just do a little push-up, that's fine. All right? So you're either gonna do them on your knees, or your hands and feet, okay? Ready, set, go. 
here, and go down. You can do them fast or slow. Slower is actually pretty hard in itself, but I just want you to keep moving. I might go in between. Whew. All right, we have 15 more seconds. Just keep doing whatever you can do. All right, keep your form. If you need to take a pause, take a pause. Okay. All right, keep going, and one more. Very good. All right, give you a little transition time here. We're gonna come up, and we're gonna do 30 seconds of squats. Squats, our hips back first, push through the floor, stand up. We're using our hips and our thighs, we're keeping our torso upright. Ready, and go. You can go shallow, okay, or you can go lower. I'm going to put my hands out, help me balance, put my hands out there. All right, you want your knees to stay over your ankles. Okay, you can go fast or you can go slow. All right, we're going to do got about five, four, three, two, one. All right, then we're going to go into bridges on the floor. All right, bridges, feet behind your hips. Feet behind your hips, they don't have to be directly behind, but you're gonna push through your hips and you're gonna press up through your heels. All right, ready and begin. Squeeze your glutes, come down and hover above the floor, don't completely rest. I'm pushing my heels through the ground so that I'm pressing up and hinging from my hip joint I'm not rolling up from the floor. I'm pressing up. It's really squeezing my glutes and hamstrings, pushing through the floor, lifting up. I'm not trying to overarch my back. I'm hoping as you see me, my knees and hips and shoulders are more in line. All right, we're already done with that one. We're gonna roll. No, we're not. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna do lunges. All right, so we're gonna Stand up and remove that. Go over here. We're going to do alternating lunges. So we're going to do, I'm going to do them actually reverse. So we're going to step back here. Switch feet. You want your knees over your ankles. You want to keep your torso upright. You want to, but you can bend, the, I mean, you can bend a little bit from your hip joint. As long as you're not arching your back. All right? You want to push through the floor with your front foot. Use your arms. Again, if you want to hold weights into these, you can do that. And 10 more seconds. Push through the floor. You don't have to go down as deep. If you want to, you can just stay up here. All right, we're already almost done though. All right, good. All right, we're going to get on the mat again and we're going to do uh, either we're going to hold a plank and just hold it right here, or we're going to do a thigh tap where you tap here. And you tap here. So either 30 second plank, thighs up, ready, go. So it's a tap, tap. The wider my feet are, the um, easier it is to balance. The narrower, the harder the tap becomes. So you're doing that, you're just holding yourself in a plank. We have 15 more seconds. All right, the idea when you're doing this is to try to shift as little as possible. You want to try to keep your neck in a neutral so you're not hanging down here like that. All right, we're tapping the thighs. So we really have to engage the core to do that. All right, next we're going to do windshield wipers. So windshield wiper, I think the best angle for you. <laughs> Maybe I do it kind of on a diagonal. Uh, if you're here, you can either do it like this and like that. Keep your hands out here. All right, or you can do a deeper one. All right, ready, begin. The idea is you're gonna keep your back and abs engaged. All right, so you're either doing it like that, or you can do a wider over here, up and down. All right, notice why it's called a windshield wiper. I've kind of gotten all skew on my mat because I was trying to think about an angle that I didn't think about before. But, so again, you're doing it this way, just gentle, only going as far 
as it is comfortable. All right, and then we're done with that. And now we're going to do a side plank on each side. 30 seconds on each side, all right? So you do the side plank one of two ways, but each way you're gonna have your elbow, put your elbow under your shoulder, all right? And then you're gonna either put your knee and hip and shoulder in a line like this, or you can stack your feet for a harder plank. You can even go up here. So those are three options, all right? So we're gonna go ahead, wash, top, top. All right, ready? Go ahead and let's begin that side plank. So up here, you're tightening your hip and your obliques right there. All right, you're gonna press through. We're not collapsing the shoulder in here like this. We're gonna be in a nice straight line, really working the oblique and the hip and this part of your shoulder capsule. So it's a good core exercise. The other thing is you're trying not to lean forward. You're trying to keep yourself nice. Like there's a line pulling you straight up here. Sometimes I even, you put your hand up here. All right, so yeah. <laughs> That's it, good. Sometimes I forget where I am in my timing. Not good. All right, so I'm gonna set up for the other side. All right, ready? So we're gonna have here, I'm gonna lift up, shoulder under your elbow, tighten your hip and oblique. Try to keep yourself in a nice line going that way and in one plane going this way, all right? Try to let your neck just drop, but if you, <clears throat> but you can let it go down a little bit if it bothers your neck to keep it up. But what we're doing is we're trying to anchor with this part of the shoulder. We're pushing the floor away from us so that we're not feeling it in our necks. And rest. Very good, that was one round. It was a little longer than five minutes, so I might um, abbreviate the next round a little bit. Mm. Live camera? Not really live, but I'm not doing this all again. <laughs> you just saw me making that for myself. Okay, a little drinking problem with water there. Okay, so we're gonna start over with our push-ups. Okay, so take a pause. If you need a little longer break, you can take a pause right now. Um, I'm gonna move a little bit faster. I'm gonna do it all again. We're gonna do it, but we're, this time we know what we're doing. We're doing the same exact exercises, so we're gonna move a little faster through them, okay? All right, so we're starting with our push-ups. Okay, ready? 30 seconds of push-ups. Let's go. Keep yourself on a nice plank, whatever you do, whether you're on your knees, okay, or you're on your toes, okay? The wider your feet are again, the easier it is. And that's not really easy, it's the wrong word. It's just not, it's more balanced if you're out here. Harder if you're narrow, harder if you're one leg. All right, those are the options. We have about five more seconds, four, three, two, one. Good, then we're gonna stand up. We're gonna take less break here because I'm just keep going. All right, we're gonna do squat, squats, push through the squat. Let's go back first, push through the floor. Tighten your belly, keep your chest lifted. All right, you don't wanna squat like that. You're gonna pretend you're sitting in a chair and you decide not to for some reason. Good, we got about five more seconds. Good. And rest. So we're gonna get on the floor. We're gonna do our bridges here. All right. Bridges, feet down. Shreddy and squeeze up. Good. Up. Push through the hips. I put my hands here because it helps remind me that this is my hinge, not my lumbar spine. I'm really squeezing my glutes to press up. Good. We got 10 more seconds. You're coming down, hovering to the floor, but not resting. You're trying to push evenly through each foot. I have to remind myself. Good. All right. Now we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do our lunges, reverse lunges. Ready? Just kidding. Go. I have to start on a five or a 10 or I forget. What I'm doing. <laughs> First 
Forgive me my few seconds here and there. Please. Good. <clears throat> you got five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> this is going a little faster than the other. All right, next we're gonna do our high plank or a, or a thigh tap. So we're gonna be here, okay? We're doing this. All right, ready, go. Trying to limit my shifting, my tightening, my obliques in here, my thighs. My thighs are tight. Let's make sure we're not over hunching here. You wanna keep yourself nice and strong. Got 10 more seconds. Tap, tap, tap. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. I'm just gonna do my windshield wipers right here. Windshield wipers, hands up to the side, forward to the side. Ready, and begin. Over, and then over. Only going to whatever depth you can go to. Without, I have a feeling pain. I want no pain in the back, okay? No pain in the back. It doesn't feel good in the back. You keep them real. Keep them in. And keep it real gentle, just a little rotation. If you can handle a little more, you go all the way down to the floor. Scooch back off my mat here. All right. <clears throat> Good. This is one of those times. <laughs> I don't know when I started exactly. So we're gonna do five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. All right. Last one. Our side planks. I'm gonna lap it this time. I'm gonna go up here. Get set. Ready and begin. Shoulder <clears throat> over your elbow. Tightening through here. Trying to stay in that same plane. All right, got 10 seconds in. We're gonna do it here. Remember the easier way is to do it on the floor, still keeping yourself in a line. If you want a little more challenge, you lift it up, lift it up here. All right, either way, we're tightening through here and here and here. All right, nice and long. All right, we got two seconds. And down, good. Switch sides. Okay, ready? Again, set yourself up with your elbow under your shoulder. Ready? And then begin to lift up here. I forgot we're down here. Still in a line. Still trying to stay upright that way.